This is Dr. Kevin Christie, your Boca Raton chiropractor. Today we're going to break down the shoulder. Surprisingly, we get a lot of shoulder conditions in our practice. I think it's a combination of a few things. We do a very detailed evaluation. Uh, the second thing is we do a lot of muscle work, something called active release technique, Graston technique that really helps with some of the conditions and then the rehab exercises that we do. When we do the evaluation, if there's anything that's a red flag that we're concerned about, we will make sure we get you down the right path of a specialist or an MRI to, to see if there's something going on in there. Surprisingly, a lot of times people would have shoulder pain that's really bad, but it doesn't mean there's structural damage. And that's where I think we excel in examining and treating your, your shoulder condition. And so I wanted to first touch base on the shoulder and how there's really like three levels of stability. First is the shoulder blade. You might hear it called scapular stability. The second is the rotator cuff, which is gonna be stabilizing during movements. And then third will be like your labrum, which a lot of people have heard of tearing that. If you tear the labrum, that's kind of that structural injury that we talked about where we would refer you out many times. Uh, but the other conditions that we see, we can treat conservatively and really get you to where you need to. One of the biggest ones that we see in the practice is called impingement. Uh, I'm gonna have you raise the arm as high as you can, all the way up like that and down, okay? A lot of times what we'll see is from about here to about here, there'll be some pain in that movement and it's considered kind of a painful arc and it's indicative of impingement syndrome, which is just a pinching of the rotator cuff. And a lot of times that's the condition that someone has from weightlifting, overhead sports, stuff like swimming and golf and tennis, throwing. And so we see that quite a bit and between the muscle work and the rehab exercises, we can really get you better in a short period of time. The other, time, the other one we'll see sometimes is right on the front here where the biceps tendon inserts and it's just typically called biceps tendonitis or tendinosis. And that's a very common injury that we deal with and we treat that uh, similarly. The eval really helps us figure out what the condition is, give you a working diagnosis, and then based on that, give you the treatment to correct it. Uh, lastly, I mean, there's many things that we can deal with the shoulder and then sometimes it gets confused with a neck condition and that's something we wanna differentiate for sure. But a lot of times we'll get pain, like a really nasty trigger point on the back of this shoulder here and it causes some of that pain on the front, like the impingement and the biceps tendon, or sometimes it just causes pain back here. And the active release technique um, is, as its name is active, and we're gonna be actively moving, and then we're gonna try to release some of the trigger point to get rid of that. And that's gonna be um, a very common technique and treatment that we're gonna do for these types of uh, shoulder conditions that are not structural in nature. So if you think you have a shoulder issue and you'd like to get it checked out, just call our office. We'll be able to at least make sure you don't have anything really bad. And if you do, we can uh, set up a short, concise treatment plan to get rid of this.